All right, hello everybody. It is Coach Talon, your coach of the Atlanta Braviers, bringing to you UPA. What week is it now? Week five. I yeah, week five facing Q, the Costa Rican, and his Chicago Dragapults. Um, now you're probably wondering why you're seeing a a, a, a slide here, and that's because I told Q I would do a team builder for our match. Um, just cause. <laughs> so, um. That's what we're doing. We're doing team builder. Um, I know it's it's uh, not new necessarily. It's not new, but it's something that I haven't done for a while. But it could be potentially something that I could you know look into doing more often. Whether it be having this as like an unlisted video down in the description for those who really want to see it, or having it at, at the beginning of a video, um, you know, like how everybody usually does team builders. Um, but you guys can let me know whether or not you like it as we go on. <laughs> So, but that being said, uh, we're playing Q, like I said. Um, Q is an amazing buddy of ours. Uh, known him since DTC Season 3, so I've known him for... I'm about to check. I've known him for seven months. Jesus. Oh, my God. I've known this guy for seven months. Um, so, he's a great buddy of ours. Definitely go check him out. He's also a member of the IBA. Um... He's in the BBL. He's destroying that league. So he's just an amazing guy all around. Definitely go check him out. Show him some love down in the description below. Along with all the other coaches at the UPA. Because they're all beautiful and lovely, uh, lovely people. But with that being said, let's get into this team builder. So before uh, we get into our team, let's take a look at Q's team. Q has Cinderace Gigantamax for him. Uh, Dragapult, Primarina, Zoroark, Rotomo, um... Articuno, Claydol, Crustal, Licky Licky, Glalie, and Nihilego. He has a scary ass fucking team. I'm gonna say that right now. His team is so fucking scary. God damn, who let him draft this? Cinderace and Dragapult, I know about that duo. I had that duo in IBA. And Q, believe me when I say this, is a much better Dragapult user than I am. Um, probably a better a Cinderace user as well. I don't know about that one. I'm, I'm, I'd like to think I'm pretty decent with Cinderace. Um, so he has a very scary team. Dragapult has so many sets that Q likes to run. Um, so, you know, like Hex, Choice Specs, uh, uh, Choice Scarf, like Physical Choice Scarf, Special Choice Scarf, Sub D Dance, um, Cinderace, uh, you know, Cinderace does what it does. It, it's Pyro Balls, it High Jump Kicks, it U-Turns, it Bulk Up sometimes, Sucker Punches. Zoroark with Illusion could potentially be scary. Um, just not being able to know what is what can can could technically kind of hurt us in in some scenarios um prim arena great uh can be offensive can be defensive same thing with rotomo can be offensive and defensive prim arena has like that sub calm mindset along with choice spec set it also has i think a, like a bit of a cleric set set if i'm not mistaken uh rotomo can take a couple of hits uh, depending on on what his set is um, it can, you know, be choice scarfed. I've seen it specs uh, sometimes. Articuno Galarian form. I have no idea what that does. Don't really know what it does. Don't think it's coming either way. Um, Cradle, really good rapid spinner. Pretty decent stealth rock setter. Uh, Crustle has shelf smash potential, which is super fucking scary. Uh, excuse me. Um, I believe he also gets stealth rocks as well. Um, Licky Licky, Wish Passer, Cleric. Not much else to say about it. It can knock off and things like that. Um, Glalie, don't know what the fuck it does. Don't care to know what it does. I don't think it's coming. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be. It could be. Like, I could definitely see it coming. Him, like, with him expecting me to bring, like, Nine Tails and, you know, with Snow Warning. Um, Blizzard could be a thing. Blizzard Glalie can be a thing. Um, Night Lego, great, spy, uh, Stealth Rock Setter, great Toxic Spike Setter. Could be offensive as well. Could be, like, an offensive Stealth, uh, Stealth Rock Toxic Spike Setter. Um, I think this gets set up potential, potentially. I don't know. Um, but not like all, all around just a very scary team. Um, I expect Okay, so going into monster. I think he was gonna bring I'd probably expect like crustal and I had Lego uh, The Zoloark, Primarina, Dragapult, and Cinderace is what I really expect. Crustle's a little eh um, Zoloark, I I think I think you could definitely do a couple of things here um, I don't think he's being a Rotomo. I don't think he's being Articuno or Claydol. I could see Licky Licky coming to you know wish Pash and things like that um, that's only, like, that's the only reason I could, like, see that coming. Um, so, I mean, there's that. 
So with that being said, let's just get into our team and break down what we were bringing, uh, what the team you're about to see in the match. So starting things off, we have our Gigantamax, Snorlax, Totoro, uh, rocking with Thick Fat and the Citrus Berry, who has 252 investment in HP, 252 in attack with the Adamant Nature. He's rocking with Body Slam, Darkest Area, Rest and Sleep Talk. Uh, keeping this thing healthy could be very huge. Snorlax just clicks buttons, especially as a Gigantamax Pokemon. Um, I feel like Darkest Lariat is very necessary here um, in order to make sure that it can hit that Dragapult super effectively. Body Slam can hit everything else basically for neutral damage. Um, and Snorlax, like I said, just clicks buttons. It's going to be whittling down all types of Pokemon. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. So, um, there's that. Um, Rest Seek Talk obviously is a, a, a very common Snorlax set. Um, being able to get that recovery, like Snorlax is one of the best mons that can rest in Sleep Talk, in my opinion. Um, it gets that recovery and you know sleep talk obviously is allowing to hit more moves um, So, you know, yeah granted I could get rest again I, I, I hope I don't and I hope I don't get like fucking body slam in front of the Dragapult But if I do then it's not a, the biggest of deal like the 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 the, the 50 50 for body slam and darkest lariat Isn't too much of a big deal especially if I'm not in front of a Dragapult because I'm hitting every anything well, for neutral damage anyway, like the only move that's doing super effective damage is Darkest Lariat and that's for Dragapult and Articuno because it's Psychic and Flying, not Ice and Psychic. Uh, for those of you who keep forgetting, I keep forgetting for sure. <laughs> so yeah, Darkest Lariat, Body Slam just seem like the best moves to run in this scenario. It does neutral damage to basically everything except for Darkest Lariat, like I said, do super effective damage. Um, so that's really all Snorlax is here to do is just click a lot of buttons and do damage. Moving into Slowbro Poseidon with Regenerator and Leftovers, um, he has 252 in HP, 252 in Defense, I think the Bold Nature is what that is called, um, with 4 in Spatak. Um, I'm not running Scald because I expect, I, I, I kind of expect, not necessarily expect, but I could definitely see it coming, uh, Weakness Policy Center is, and I do not want to proc that Weakness Policy not, unless I know for a fact that I'm killing, I'm not trying to proc that Weakness Policy. That's why I'm running a Psychic Slack off. Thunder Wave and Teleport. T-Wave is actually going to be really fucking good here because he has a lot of fucking fast Pokemon like Cinderace, Dragapult, and Zoroark. Um, along with my Helego too. My Helego's in there. Also potentially a uh, Shell Smashing um, Crustle. That could also be a thing. Um, but I just think Thunder Wave all, like, all around is just a really good bring here. Um, being able to potentially limit uh, Amon from attacking is going to be huge. Or like in my Helego's case... Um, Clicking like hazards or in a crustle's place, clicking um, fucking shell smash, you know, potentially stopping them from setting up is gonna be huge. Um, Zero Wreck just slowing it down can be huge, also limiting it from potentially being able to attack. Um, I think maybe Colderberry could have been good here, or, or the Ghostberry, um, just so I can make sure that I can take a hit from Dragapult. So maybe Leftovers wasn't the best bring, but oh well, this is a post. Uh, Post battle team builder, so I it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. So even with that realization just now, um, it, the battle's already happened. Like the battle happened like fucking last week. So <laughs> there's not much I can do about it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not ringing Scald just because I do not want to proc potential Cinderace's weakness policy. And for another thing for potential weakness policy, Cinderace. We have Landorus. Landorus is our offensive stealth rocker for, stealth rocker for this week. The reason I think uh, weakness policy um, Cinderace could potentially come is because I have three stealth rock centers. Sandslash, Mawile, and Landorus. Mawile does not have a good matchup here in my opinion. I mean, I guess it could come, do a couple of things, do a couple shenanigans, but it's not the greatest. Sandslash is usually offensive. Um, same thing with Landers is usually offensive, but it has you know it has its offensive self rock set. I'm rocking with the extra belt instead of instead of the life orb like I usually do, um, just because you know I don't want to whittle myself down. I think having a healthy Landers is kind of huge here. Um, so we're rocking earthquake knockoff U turn stealth rocks. Like I said, stealth rocks is here to whittle down that Cinderace. Whittling down that Cinderace is going to be huge, 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 huge. Um, because I, I don't think he'll be bringing boots if I'm being honest. I really don't. So, he has, uh, 20 investment in HP, 252 in attack, 4 in defense, 4 in speed death, and then 228, um, in speed rocking with the jolly nature. This is enough to outspeed a non-scarf Rotom Mo and everything below it. Um, 
which you know is actually a decent amount of models. It's like played all uh, non shell smash crustal Glalie from arena i think and licky licky so that's a decent amount of mods um honestly this thing just clicks buttons landers always clicks buttons u-turn's gonna be doing good damage for that uh that rotom mo earthquake's doing good damage for that we uh that <sighs> what's the name of the mod cinder race uh non cuff's gonna be hitting dragapult and uh really any mod getting an item off is huge so i think if i'm in front of a cinder race on dynamax i click knock off first and then click earthquake and just kill it um, cause I think Earthquake is a roll to kill if it's Dynamaxed. Um, if it's Undynamaxed, I think it's a guaranteed. Um, not too sure though. Um, if I remember just from Cow King. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> so, um, like I said, outspeeds the Scarf Road emote. That's, this is really here just to get up, um, Stealth Rocks. Also being able to intimidate things is gonna be huge, especially if it's like physical Dragapult, Cinderace, a good Cinderace check, along with, like, I forgot to mention with Slowbro. A uh, really good Cinderace check. Um, so yeah, like, you know, potential, potential, you know, Crustle, Crustle, um, I think is always run physical. So, you know, intimidating that can be huge. Same thing with, well, everything I just stated. That's it. That's the only ones that really care for being intimidated. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's that. Also, if I sound off, that's because I am recovering from being sick like two days ago. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, but that's really what Landers is here to do. Set the Thorax and click buttons, you know, like every other mod. So, moving in, we have Sand Slash. Oh, Tally, why are you bringing Sand Slash a steel ice type against the Cinderace? Because I feel like it. But actually, in all actuality, um, Sand Slash could do a decent bit here. Um, as long as he's in the hail and he's fast, you know, I, I think I could click buttons. I have enough speed to outspeed uh, Dragapult in the hail at plus one which is why i'm running rapid spin i need to get to that plus one it originally was going to be agility which hindsight probably should have run agility because when i was checking the calc to make sure that i could uh that i could say that i cannot speed a uh dragapult a scarf dragapult at plus one in the hail um i realized that the dragapult set i was calculating for was modest and not uh like speed increasing nature so i cannot speed a speed increasing nature uh scarf dragapult but i can outspeed a modest dragapult uh, which is, you know, max investment, which I don't think he'll be bringing max investment. Um, so, you know, there's that. With Triple Axel, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Rapid Spin, I'm rocking 148 in HP, 252 in Attack with Adamant Nature, uh, 4 in Defense, 4 in spe Special Defense, and 100 in Speed. Triple, like I said, Triple Axel, Iron Head, Earthquake, Rapid Spin. Um, if I can get a Mon Whittled down to enough HP for Rapid Spin to KO, or I know that they can't KO me, I'm clicking Rapid Spin, and I'm clicking buttons from then on. Um, I think this thing could really poke holes through his team if I'm in the hail. If I'm not in the hail, then I'm screwed. <laughs> um, but really, my main thing is Q loves his Dragon Ball. Q really does. Um, my main thing is just slow down that Dragon Ball or be faster than that Dragon Ball, which is why I'm running T-Wave on, on Slowbro. Um, I was thinking about bringing a Prankster T-Waving Meow Stick. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, though. I wasn't feeling that vibe. Um, didn't feel like a, a prankster meowstic kind of battle here. I mean, it could have done a couple things, but mm, just wasn't feeling that. So, moving on. We have nine tails, and I just realized that there are two nine tails on the thing. Is there two nine tails on the next one? No, there's not. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I don't know why there's two nine tails there. Anyways, we have two uh, nine tails. <laughs> Rocking with Elsa uh, with the snow warning ability and Icy Rock. Icy Rock is going to be. Uh, maximizing our hail turns which is going to be absolutely fucking huge like i said if i'm faster than the drag pull then i'm a-okay um rocking 250 244 in hp um 36 in spectac and then 220 in speed with the timid nature i believe this is enough investment to outspeed a max speed non-scarf zoroark um, we're rocking with Reward Bell, Toxic Heal Bell, Freeze Drive, basically your standard, uh, your standard Nine Tails set. Um, so, last time we played Q the Costa Rican, um, he brought a Hexed Dragapult against me, and my mistake in that battle was, um, not bringing Hazard Removal. I didn't bring Hazard Removal, and he was able to get Toxic Spikes up and sweep me with a Hexed Choice, Choice Scarf Dragapult. Um, <laughs> so... 
Uh, I'm very scared for that. This, this is why Heal Bell is actually very, um, very crucial because he has that potential again with Nyha Lego, which, I, in my opinion, is an even better Stealth Rocker in this matchup than a Galarian Weezing would be, which was his. I said Stealth Rocker. I meant Toxic Spike Setter, which Galarian Weezing was his Toxic Spike Setter back in DTC Season 3. Don't go watch that video because it is very poor quality and actually very, like, choppy and very low. Like, just bad. Don't watch it. Go watch Q-Side, though. If you want to watch the battle, go watch Q-Side. You can see him obliterate me. <laughs> but like I said, more Veil, Toxic, Heal Bell. Basically, your, your standard Nine Tails. If I can keep this thing healthy, that's going to be huge. Because I Heal Bell, like I said, is going to be very nice. Especially if he's deciding to bring that Hex Dragapult again. So, for our last and final Mon, we have our Killer Frost Key Ram with the Choice Scarf. Um, Blizzard goes Burr. Freeze Dry, Draco Meteor, and Earth Power. <laughs> um, Freeze Dry is here. It can hit the Primarina, basically. Um, that's mainly why I wanted to pack Freeze Dry, is because I can potentially hit that Primarina for super effective damage. Um, HP, we're rocking with 68 investment. Special Attack is max, 252. Speed is at 188. Um, with the Jelly Nature, we have enough speed to outspeed a Scarf Rotom Mo. That is the fastest Scarf Mon that I can outspeed, which in turn will outspeed his entire team, again, bearing a Scarf Pokemon. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Blizzard, 100% accurate in the hill, which is why I'm, again, why I'm running Icy Rock. This is another reason why I'm running Icy Rock on my Ninetales, it's because I need to be able to have that Blizzard uh, hitting all the time for eight turns. <laughs> um, like I said, Freeze Dry hits Primarina for the most part, that's why I wanted it. Draco Meteor, uh, does damage for literally everything, really. Um, you don't, there's not much of a Draco Meteor switching besides Primarina. Um, I guess you could say Glalie, but I wouldn't consider it one. Um, and then Earth Power to hit the Nyha Lego, who I could expect to come in along with the Cinderace as well. Um, I expect those to be, like, the QRM checks for the most part, because, you know, Rock and Fire don't do do really good against Ice, <laughs> Ice and Dragon. Um, mostly Nihil Lego though. I think he switches in Nihil Lego before he switches in Sinners against this thing. So there's that. That's the team we're gonna be bringing. Kiram clicks buttons, clicking buttons. Everything really uh, is here to try to click buttons against this team. So hopefully we can put up a good fight, good fight against Kid Costa Rican. A better fight than we gave him last time. Um, that's why the title of the video is uh, Just Don't Get 5 0 because we got 5 0 last time by, by uh, a Hex Dragapult. Um, I'm recording this the day before the video has to go live, which is fun, and I, I still have to make the thumbnail for it, so that's fun. Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna get up on out of here. Um, you're about to go see the battle right now, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, go show Q to Costa Rica some love, along with all the other coaches at the UPA, because they're all lovely and beautiful people. And I'm Coach Talent, and I'll see you guys at the battle. Thank you. Alright, hello everybody. It is Coach Sight, your coach of the Atlanta Braves. Oh, let me turn myself up, because I'm a little low on the mic. Um, your coach of the Atlanta Brave Bears bringing to you. Did I say Coach Scythe? Coach Talon, your coach of the Atlanta Brave Bears bringing to you UPA week. He actually brings Rotom. Okay, I'm surprised. Bringing to you UPA week four, is it? Um, facing Q the Costa Rican and his Chicago Dragapults. So Q is a good buddy of mine, so be sure to go check him out down in the description below. Um, he also brings Primarina and no Crustle. We also Crustle, right? Yeah, no crystal. Uh, so where are you? And I believe that's the team. Dragapult. Yeah, that's the team. Okay. Um. So we're facing Q the Costa Rican and his Chicago Dragapult. So be sure to go check them down in the description below because Q is a really good buddy of mine. Um. So yeah, just go check them. Just go check them out. You'll you'll definitely enjoy his stuff if you enjoy my stuff. And we are gonna lead. We like lead an Ent in here, right? Yeah, we're gonna lead Ent in here. So he's been standing by for a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of everything off the layout that isn't here. No Zoark, no Qualidol, no Glalie. I believe there are some other things that are not here. The Articuno, which was kind of expected. Yeah, okay, we're good. He's actually gonna, okay. He's leading the Primarina, which is uh, a great lead on his part. Uh, Becky is his Primarina nickname. So, I think I—I I mean, I have to switch here. <laughs> like I have to switch. Um, I guess I can switch into Elsa and then you know 
set up my Aurora Veil. Just want to make sure everything's the right ability. Yeah, okay. So we're going to switch into Elsa and get my Aurora Veil. And see what he wants to do. Alright. They scald. Okay, this goes for the scald, which is you no know, safe play. That actually did damage. Why did that do so much? Why did that do so much damage? You're not choice bets from Arena. I can't spell from Arena. You're not choice bets, right? Oh, oof. I popped something. Okay, I don't think they're choice bugs. Um, I'm just gonna get on my Aurora Veil. Get up Aurora Veil, so we could potentially live a Scald now. You just go for it again. I feel like they might be choice. Oh, they get the burn, which is super unfortunate. So I think I kind of just want to Toxic or I could Freeze Dry here. I'm just going to Freeze Dry do damage. Okay, do a nice little bit of chip. From Arena, KOs, Ninetales, wow. Wow. Already. This is, this. okay, this is how, that, <laughs> this is how the battle is going to be. Um, do I want to go Totoro and just start clicking Body Slam? I think so. I'm gonna go Totoro and see what he wants to do. I'm just gonna go for the Body Slam here. If they switch into Dragapult, good play. <laughs> good play if they switch into Dragapult. So let's see what they want to do. They're going draw. Into who? Okay, this is Licky Licky. Uh, this thing is gross, and I don't like it. This thing can wish pass, which is like the scariest part about it. And they're lefties. I feel like they might be Choice Specs Prim. I'm just gonna go for another body slam. That's really unfortunate that I had to lose Brick Break. Oh, great brain. <sighs> Unfort. Unfort. <laughs> oh no. This is how this battle is gonna be. I have no reason not to click body slam here. They could switch into, back into. I kinda wanna make the double into Kira, honestly. Let's just start clicking buttons. Which mostly would be freeze dry. Do I do it? Nah. I think I just go for the body slam. I probably should have, but I don't know. Something was not. Something was telling me it was not the move. They have knockoff. Okay. Wow. They really are. <laughs> oh god. All right. So Alex is claiming one for the boys. Ko's. What's his name? Licky, Licky. Alright. Which means no wish passing shenanigans, which is actually really nice. Granted, I do lose my... My citrus berry, but... I have rest, which I kind of want to go for here on whatever wants to come in. If they go back into Primarina here. They do go back into prime. At I'm at ninety-one. Ninety-one. Scald's guarantee Oko. Moonblast is as well. 
I should have spec right actually no I can't. I mean at least we could this thing safely. I kinda wanna go into my sand flash here. And that's what we're gonna do. I think I can save Snorlax uh, and rest up later on. Maybe I should have been leftovers. But then again, they still would have gotten knocked off. Scald, that's fine. I should take that. Oh, you're for sure specs, aren't you? And they get another burn. They get another burn. Wow. Q. Why? Just why? That's so unfortunate. Still does damage. But we are gonna die to squad here. From Arena, KOs. They get a crit too. A little salt in the wound. Sand Flash. A little salt in the wound. On oh, the hell's gonna end. So no more Blizzard shenanigans. So much salt in the wound. Alright, let's go into you and then just click Earthquake. Because what comes in that I cannot upgrade? I mean, not how I go, but. Do they give me this thing? They could go into Rotom, but I think I just get turned on that thing, honestly. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna give this this thing. So Landorus, KOs, Primarina. Okay, you saw the title of the video, it's called Don't Get 5 0 We're not getting 5 0 and we're not getting 6 0 either. Okay. Grassman. I should outspeed this thing unless it is scarfed. I kinda wanna calc for Rota Mo. Oh, you, you choice scarf. That's Landorus. Who's that full? Leaf Storm is doing 80%. I honestly think I just switch here. I don't think I risk it. They both switch, great play, but. If they least storm, I feel like they, they are Scarf. They Willow. Okay. And then we... Okay. Great. Perfect. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff we don't we need. Um, why don't we just want to kind of click Draco here? And we're doing it. We're dropping a Draco. If they want to switch, they can switch. We're dropping the Draco. So we see Will O Wisp on the road to Mo. Um, so that tells me you're not scarfed. Unless you're like a fast. Like scarfed. Maybe maybe you are. I don't know. We're gonna get damage off on something. No name. That's the Nihil Lego. Okay. Um, I don't not speed this thing. Power Gem should probably kill me, right? Power Gem should probably kill. Actually, Power Gem only does 84%, and I kill this thing with... Well, actually, it's a roll for Earth Power. Never mind. So I'm just going to switch into Landers then. I'm switching landers. They have something for this, then you know. They deserve it, man. They deserve the kill. <laughs> um Toxic Spikes. Oh, they got rid of my removal too. Are they gonna swing with Hex Dragapult again, I swear. Q, I swear to god. I don't see them staying in, I'm gonna go for the knockoff here. And I didn't see if they were air balloon. Oh, 
Oh boy. We got rid of my removal. <laughs> Grass man. Do go for the knockoff here. Knock off their leftovers. And I'm just gonna go for a U-turn here. We know you're not scarfed. Unless you are. Wait, no, we just knocked off their item. What am I saying? This should actually do some damage because I am expert belt. And then we can go on a Kirium, I guess. Damage. We could also potentially go on a Snorlax and. I kind of want to rest in front of this thing. Actually, they probably went for the will o -Wisp. Never mind. That was a bad play. That was a bad play. Oh, no. Leaf Storm. Okay, this probably might kill. This will probably kill. We live on nine, but we die to Toxic. Unless we don't. No, we do. Okay. So, Nihilego. Okay, it was Snorlax with T-Spikes. Okay. That one I had to write down just so I know to make sure that it's an uh, indirect kill. I think it's Snorlax off the layout. kind of want to just click Freeze Dry here. Just because Freeze Dry will do neutral damage to the Nihilego. Probably just let this thing go down. Yeah, I'm clicking Freeze Dry here. Yeah, they gave me this thing. Okay. So, Kiram KOs Rotomo. Scary thing is he still has a Dragapult in the back. But if he is a, like a Hex Dragapult sort of sweep set, then I can, can kind of deal with that. I feel like they might expect Lando to come out. How much does not Halego do this to slow though? Oh, this thing gets thunder. The question is, are they packing it? Compared to how much they would do the landers. They do so much less land. Okay, they do so much less landers. So I'm going. I'm gonna go Lando. Here's the good news, with uh, Rotomo being gone, I can now Earthquake freely. Power Gem, this should not do a lot of damage. Yeah, no. I can just Earthquake freely here. Same thing with uh, my Kiram, I can just Earth Power for free. Power Gem, yep. Ooh, that did... That dropped me down lower than I would actually would like. Alright, we KO that. Landers. KOs. What is this thing? My Halego. <sighs> Go tanks, that's the that thing. I'm gonna go for the knockoff in case their weakness policy and we can potentially get chipped, but I think they just max and win the game. They're actually gonna U-turn. Okay. That's fine. Uh so Cinderace, that's actually a great play. KOs. Landorus. Wait, I was about to get rid of Cinderace, like I killed it. <laughs> Not with Landorus. Okay. In a ham sandwich, the Dragapult. Ah, my worst nightmare. <laughs> um, I think I just go into you and try to try to T wave this thing.
X. Oh, not again! Not again, Q! And he kills. He just beats me from here. It's, if, if he scarfed, like... Like, I, I just lose. I think I just lose anyways, but... Ah, Q. God damn it. Not again. <laughs> Dragapult KOs. Okay, let's load up. God damn it, Q. Not again. Not again, Q. Come on now. Please don't be scarfed. Please don't be scarfed. <laughs> oh no. I mean, okay. The good news is that we, we didn't get 5 0'd. Um. I'm sorry if my commentary was off this battle. I was just really focused. I kind of, I really wanted to win this. Um, but he, he sweeps me again with, uh, and he's scarfed. He swept me again with the, the Hex Dragapult. And, oh, we live. We land. Okay, so it's not, it's not that bad this time. <laughs> okay, we KO that. We definitely don't KO this. Oh, it was a crit. Don't know if crit mounted there. Your MKOs. Dragapult. You're hurt by poison. And I don't think we KO the Cinderace because he still has his G Max. So GG to Q, man. Go tanks. That's the Cinderace. Ah, great game, dude. Great game. Can't even be mad about it. Oh, he didn't, he didn't max? Can I kill? I don't think I can. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't even do over half. Pyro Ball, this will definitely kill me. Great game to Q, Cinderace. And with no land issues whatsoever, KO's Kiram. Oh my god, amazing game. We played a lot better than the last time we ever played Q. We still lose 1-0, but, you know, it gives us hope. Um, I'm telling him GG. Great game, brother. Um, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I saw that Hex, Hex Dragapult, I got flashbacks. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to do an interview, because I know he usually does that. So, he's probably just wrapping up and then maybe he'll ask, but, um... If not, then you know, it is what it is. But if he does want to do an interview, you can go. Uh, if he does want to do an interview, you can go over and check his side of the match. It'll be down in the description with a link to the video if you really want to check it out. Um, but we lose again to Q one zero this time. We didn't get five would so our title of don't get five would still remains true. I mean, granted, we still could have gotten not five would and was just a six zero. I was actually really nervous going into this match because you know Q's an amazing battler and. He has Dragapult and Cinderace, and I know about that duo. That is a scary-ass duo right there. But with that being said, I'm going to get up on out of here. Again, shout-out to Q. Be sure to check him out along with all the other coaches of the UPA. Um, I'm Coach Talon, your coach of the Atlanta Braviaries, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.